hello students in this lesson we'll discuss about a problem related to your transition curve especially the length of transition curve <music> so the problem given is we have to find the length of the transition curve so l is equal to question mark for a broad gauge so the the type of gauge given is bg broad gauge curve of 3 degree so the degree of curve is how much here 3 degree having a cant of 10 cm so cant is nothing but e is nothing but 10 cm the maximum permissible speed on the curve is given as so your v max value is given that is equal to 80 km h so these are all the given data and this is what we have to find if you have already seen the previous lesson we have discussed on finding the length of the transition curves in two ways but i had highlighted that one of the way is very important so let me show the slide so the length of the transition curve is what the greater of all these values so there are three formulas first one is what l is equal to 7.2 into e this is what actual super elevation in centimeter right cant is nothing but your actual super elevation so the first formula says l is equal to 7.20 into e e is nothing but your actual super elevation and this should be in what centimeter so they have given it in centimeter so this will be 7.20 into 10 that's nothing but your 72 you will get your length in meters please remember this so this is in meter then going on to the second formula what is the second formula say so here the second formula is what l is equal to 0.073 d into v max so let's write l is equal to 0.073 d v max so it will be 0.073 now d what is this d is important you should be knowing see d is what can deficiency for maximum speed in centimeters so what is v max v max is the maximum speed of the train in kmph so in the question v max is given as 80 okay so 80 this is already in kmph question also it is given as kmph so it's correct now d d value is the can deficiency for maximum speed now for this we have a standard table okay this you will anyway study in the chapter of negative cant and cant deficiency right so the allowable for in the question if you observe broad gauge is given so this is an important thing so broad gauge is given and the maximum speed is what 80 so all these values are for speeds less than 100 kmph so this will 80 will lie less than 100 kmph right now for broad gauge there are different groups but for both the groups if you observe it is 75 mm right so to write it in centimeters if you want to write it in centimeters according to the standard value it is 7.6 cm here it is 5.1 cm and here it is 3.8 cm here they have all rounded it off okay you can use this or this so let me use this so for broad gauge for speed maximum speed of 80 kmph what is the value of d we have 7.6 right so in d we have to substitute 7.6 so 7.6 so on cal calculation what will be your value it will be 44.38 meters this is from the second formula and from the third formula what is the formula same above formula in place of d we have to replace it with e right so l is equal to 0.073 e v max so 0.073 e is given as 10 remember it should be in centimeter v max should be in kmph right on simplification what will be the value you will get 
that will be 58.40 meters so from 1 2 and 3 what you have to choose the answer greatest of the 3 will be the length of the transition curve so the final length of the transition curve will be c 72 44.38 58.40 so which one will you choose you will choose 72 meters understood so this is how you have to do the problem on finding the length of the transition curves so you should be very careful with this this has a standard value based on the type of gauge we are using and based on the maximum speed okay hope the problem is clear to you now thank you